In this tutorial, I'll be going to review ACLS stock. I'll just copy that and I'll paste it in Google. And you click stock besides it. And um, I just want to show you that the name is this one. And I want to show you that if I buy it right now, it's 15.33 US dollars per stock. And market cap is in millions, which means it's a medium sized firm. The dividend yield is none. Um, I just want to make sure that the company that has div dividend yield, that means that you know they um they have extra money after paying their loans liabilities costs they still have extra money left that money they pay to shareholders as dividends this means that the company is financially strong if the company don't have any dividend that means that maybe they are not able to generate extra money so it tells about their financial situation or maybe they are financially very strong but they want to invest in their own business to grow further or expand so they are many factors so it's up to you to decide Let's look at when was this founded. It was founded in 1955 and if it's not written outside you can just go to Wikipedia and you can find a box and um, uh, you can see founded in 1995 here right and if I just go back I just want to uh, get this from Google the name and um, I would like to see the reviews in Indeed and um, you can see in Indeed that uh, there are 44 reviews and it's four star which is brilliant I want to see this in Glassdoor as well reviews and you can see the reviews uh, 57 reviews and it's three star okay it's above average and you can just go through the reviews yourself Th these are the reviews that employees have given so you know uh, people who work there what they have to say about the company that matters a lot just go to Yahoo Finance and I want you to look at the um, key executives. I'll just click here and find the symbol. You can see um, that they are like same names but different symbols each time. But we are looking at ACLS so be careful. Go to profile and then go to sector, technology, industry, semiconductor, full-time employees. And you can see five key executives and all of their salaries have been shown. This means that the company has given all the information about the salaries it hasn't hidden anything it's very transparent and it's very you know everything is in front of you that's brilliant because it builds trust and I want to go to just here patents because this website is brilliant for patents and um, I will just click on the search bar and I'll click enter and um, I will ignore the inventor part because inventor means they have invented but they don't have the rights applicant or assignee are people who have the rights of the patent so, um, you know, in 2012, they, ha they have a patent, 2012, 2001, 2008, 2011, and so on. To make sure they have recent patents in 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, because these, this means that they are still innovating. They're not, they haven't left innovating. That's important as well, if they have recent patents or not. Patent uh, means if a company has a patent, that means they, the company is very strong, it is competitive, it is, uh, you know, it can beat its competitors and um, it, it is very strong. It's like a moat uh, to a castle. So uh, it protects the company and, um, you know, it's brilliant. The more patents a company have, the better. But please go through the, each pages and look for recent patents as well. So um, now, lastly, I want to go to macro trend. I want to show you some important ratios. I just go to price ratio and price book ratio and paste in the symbol. And um, okay, and uh, this website takes a bit to load because it has a lot of data, so you have to be patient. But I love this website for um, you know how it presents the ratios and everything. So it makes life life easy. And uh, please let me know if I'm just I'm uh, going to very fast through the video if you don't understand anything or like you know if you want me to slow down or if you have any questions for me please let me know um, I love to answer any questions and uh, just uh, type below like comment below the video or maybe start a discussion in the YouTube channel that I have so um, I would love to you know um, answer to that or if, if there is a topic or a, a stock that you want me to talk about or make a video on it, so please let me know as well.
I can see price book ratio if price to book ratio is um, less than one that means the stock is undervalued as discount and it's very cheap to buy it's at bargain and it's ideal time to buy if it's one that means stock is same price as the market price so it's not expensive which is brilliant at least you're not buying expensive stock you're buying the real price if it's more than one that means the stock is expensive the higher the number goes the more expensive it gets let's see the number it's 1.21 that means the stock is 1.21 times more expensive um, in 2019 uh, July but it was very expensive in 2017 September when it was 3.38 times expensive if you just see vertically up you can see that people who bought in September 2017 they paid $27 to buy something that was only $8 worth they paid a lot of money to buy it that was only $8 worth it, they bought it very expensive and it was very very at discount in 2008 December it was 0.16 times uh, expensive, 0.16 times, which meant that people who bought that time, they paid $2 to buy something that was $12 worth. So they, they got a lot of discount. Um, you know, I think that was 80 or 90% discount they got, uh, which means they paid only $2 to buy something that was $12 worth, which was brilliant in 2008. And, but right now, if somebody buys right now they will be paying 1.21 1 times the money so um, it's still cheaper than in uh, 2017 but still it's you know it's not um, you know it's a little bit more expensive so you need to be careful like if you want to buy right now or what let's go to other ratios and I want to show you current ratio so the current ratio um, if it's less than one that means the stock is risky if is it's um, 1.5 or more than that that means that the stock is uh, very secure and um, there's a lot of margin of safety it's brilliant to buy look for 1.5 or more than that So current ratio, I'm looking for 1.5 or more than that. Right now, it's more than 1.5, which means the stock is very safe. It's very safe to buy. Let me see if it has ever been below 1.5. Um, since 2005 up till now, it's 14 years. It's a, it has been consistently 14 years. It has been a safe stock because it has been above 1.5 consistently. And um, so since 14 years, it's a safe stock. Let's go to debt equity. Debt equity tells me if the company is uh, mainly operating on debt or equity. I'm looking for 0.5 or less than that. Okay, 
So you can see that um, on um, March 2019, it's 0.12. So we are looking for 0.5 or less than that. So it's less than 0.5. That means it's a safe stock. And let's see previously if it has ever been above 0.5. Since 2005 up till now, it's 14 years, it has always been below 0.5. It means it's a safe stock. Let's go to return on equity. I'm looking for 8% or more than that. Okay, so uh, it's uh, more than 8% in March, which is brilliant. Let's look previously uh, if it has ever been below. Yes, so since I would say since um, before 2017 March, it has been below 8% and in minus even, which is not good. Um, you know, it has been in minus of quite a lot. So I would say that since um, uh, 2017 March um, up till now, so which is nearly two years since two years recently it has been eight percent or more than that which is brilliant but two years is not quite a lot of time i'm you know at least five years we should look at consistently at least five years to be do it to be trustable so it has like been very good like above eight percent since recent two years uh so you know it is very good but i am um, you know make sure you look at uh recent five years um to be able to be you know it's much safer so uh, it's up to you to decide